Hey, Base Chicks and Base Suits. This is your girl here, Holly Franklin Base Chick, coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the circle of fifths. So what exactly is the circle of fifths? You may or may not have heard of it. If you're new to music theory, this is definitely going to be new to you. Some of you who have been playing music for a while, you may already know what it is or you just might need a refresher. So what the circle of fifths is, it's just basically a circle that is created and it shows the sharp scales and the flat scales. And these are the major scales. And it's just a kind of a nice, easy way to remember them. But also it makes it fifths because the positioning from one scale to the next is five positions away. So I'm gonna take you to the whiteboard and we're gonna go over that. So how we're going to remember the circle of fifths is we are going to do it like a clock because it looks like a clock, like a big circle here. So I have our C up here. Our C is always going to be our 12 o'clock and it's always going to have zero sharps and zero flats. All right, our C major scale, we have C, D, E, F, G, a, B, and C. So we have our one, our two, our three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And what is five steps away from C? It's going to be our G right here, our fifth, right in the major scale. And that is actually going to be our next scale that we do. So then G it's going to have one sharp in that. And then what is five steps away from G? D with two. Five steps away from D, A with three, and then E, B, F sharp, C sharp. And our C-sharp is at our 6 o'clock point. So we have our 6 o'clock, we have our 12 o'clock, and then our 3 o'clock is going to be our E to remember. Now that we have written out the major sharp scale, here's a cool way of remembering the order of the sharps. And how you can remember the order of them. Now, our acronym here, we're going to start off with F because that's the first sharp in the sharps, and then C, G, D, A, E, and B. So now that we have that figured out, I'm going to teach you the acronym now. So, the acronym that I learned, it's a little silly, but it does work. It's FAT. Cats get dizzy after eating butter. Fat cats get dizzy after eating butter. All right, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna look at the flat scales now. So it's a little bit of a different not completely different process from counting five here because what we're going to do is instead of counting five here if we don't know what the next note is for C in terms of finding our flat scale we're actually going to count in fourths so the next one from C is actually going to be F and what's five steps away from F? C. Four steps away from C is F which is going to give us one flat four steps away from F, B flat. And then four steps away from B flat is E, and then A flat, D flat, G flat, and finally our C flat. So I wrote out the F major scale, just to make it easier to know how many steps away your next note is gonna be um, in the circle of fourths. So since we are counting by fourths in this case, um, we have our F, which is our one, our G is our two, A is three, B flat is our four, C is five, D is six, 
E is seven and F is eight. So since we are doing the circle of fours and we're on the flat side, we're counting four notes over, which is going to be our B flat. And that will be how you do it for each of those, each of the next notes to make it easier for you. The order of the flats are B, E, A, D, G, C, F. And the easiest way I remembered the order of the flats was basically bead, so like jewelry, and then GCF, greatest common factor, as in math. So that was the easiest way I remembered it. But that, that's really just the breakdown of the minor scale. Um, basically, just remembering the order of the flats, just like we remembered the order of the sharps. And obviously, if you create a cool acronym, that will help you as well. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. I know that um, it's confusing. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys watching this. I hope you all have a blessed day. God bless.